We're now going to see one of my favorite features of Testing Library, and that's the various APIs it exposes to fill out forms. So let's go ahead and update our component to have a form, and then see some of the cool features that Testing Library has. So what we're going to do is remove this old test, it's not long, no longer any use, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete this one, head over here and delete all of this content as well. We're now going to create a quick little form, I'm going to have an event which is submit.prevent, and we're just going to call a method called submit, and let's go ahead and put something very simple inside of here. I'm going to create a label, that one is going to be for the name field, and it's just going to be name. And now we're going to create another field which is going to be an input, and that's how the user fills out their name. I'm going to use vmodel to bind on name, the ID is also going to be name, and I think that should be enough for now. And the next thing we're going to do is add our submit button, and that's just going to be have a role of let's say a button, because that's the role of this, and we like to be accessible. So I'm going to give this one a role of button, and we're just going to say submit inside of here. And that should be enough to get us started. The next thing we're going to have to do is create our name variable down here inside of data. So let's just go ahead and do that as well. And it's going to be null. I'm also going to disable this button. It's not going to be able to be submitted unless the name has been filled out. So we can bind to the disabled attribute. And I'm just going to say if not if name dot length, or rather if name is not length. So that means if there's no name entered, the button is going to be disabled. We're then going to enter some data in here, and then this should become enabled. So let's go ahead and see how we can write that test. The first thing we're going to do is assert that that button has been disabled. So we need to go ahead and select that. So again, we can use screen and we're going to use the get by role selector. And we're going to see another feature of get by role now. We're going to select by the role of button. And then we're going to look for the specific button with the name of submit. So I'm going to say name is equal to submit. The way this works is it's going to look for the button with the correct role. So in this case, it's going to be this one here. And then it's going to find the one with the correct text, which is going to be the submit text over here. I'm no accessibility expert, but I've been told this is a good way to do it. And we can see this is not failing and get by role as we know raises an error if it doesn't find the correct element. So in this case, we can tell this is now working correctly. Just to verify that, I'm going to mess this one up and we should get an error and so we do. The next thing I'm going to do is assert that this has the disabled attribute. So we're going to say expect, pass this in and say to be disabled. And that's another one of the extended selectors which comes from the Jest DOM library. If we go ahead and save this one off, we can see this is now passing. And this is a little bit long for my liking. What I'm going to do is extract this out into a variable called button. You don't have to do this, but this is definitely my personal preference. And I know I'm going to be using this button later on in the test, so it's nice to have a reference to it here. And that is still passing. What we want to do now is make sure we fill out the form correctly, and this should not be disabled anymore. So the next thing we need to do is go ahead and fill out that input. We've seen how to trigger events before we use fire input. And in this case, we or fire event, sorry. And in this case, we're going to use update. And this is going to work specifically well with vModel. It's going to let us update inputs. The first argument is going to be the input to update. So we need to go ahead and select the correct field. In the case of testing library, as we know, it likes to encourage you to be accessible. And what you would normally do if you're a user is look for an input based on the name. So we're going to find the correct label using the name and then fill out the input. The way this works is we're going to use another selector and that's going to be get by label text. And with label text in this case is going to be name. And now we've got that correct element, we can go ahead and fill it out. I'm just going to pass in my name and fill out the form correctly like that. Let's save it off and we can see this is not failing. And as we know, get by would raise an error if this wasn't found. So it is in fact working correctly. Finally, let's go ahead and write our assertion. I'm going to reverse this one and say it should not be disabled. And if we save this off, it's actually going to fail. And this is another similar problem that we saw before. It's waiting for the next tick, or rather in this case, it's not waiting for the next tick. The view test utils solution would be something like await next tick, and now this is going to go ahead and pass. But we don't really want to be doing this. We want to do this in the most idiomatic testing library way. And there's a few ways we can do this. One is to await for fire event.update, and this is going to have a similar effect to waiting for the next tick, and that is going to go ahead and pass. What I personally prefer to do is use wait for, which we've seen before. It's just going to run that assertion over and over again until it passes, and this is going to work just fine as well. I'm not too sure which is the more correct testing library way of doing this. However, I am happy with this and it's been working great for me. So this is where we are going to leave it at this lecture. In the next lecture, we're going to see how we can test that this correct form event has been called, and we're going to see how we can test emitted events in testing library.